My name is Chao Kai Shao. My name is James Graney. And I'm Robert Key. In this PowerPoint, we're going to talk about binary eutectic phase diagrams. A phase diagram is a diagram representing the limit of stability of the various phases in a chemical system at equilibrium with respect to variables such as composition and temperature. And below are the three examples of phase diagrams. The first one's urinary, second one's binary eutectic, and the third one's binary eutectic with compounds or intermediate phases. In this presentation, we got, we're going to focus on the binary eutectic phase diagram. In a phase diagram, there's several different phases. The solid phase of both alpha and beta, and the liquid phase, and not usually included, there's a gas phase. Separating these phases are the liquidus, solidus, and solvus line. The liquidus line separates the liquid state region from the two phase state regions. The solidus separates the solid state region from the solid and liquid state region. And the solvus line separates the solid state region from a solid element of number one plus a solid element of number two region. The eutectic point is the temperature point where the two elements liquidus lines meet. A tie line is an imaginary horizontal line which delineates what composition the alloy would have at the solidus and liquidus for whatever temperature a certain point has. This is typically used in lever rule calculations. Here's an example of a phase diagram. It contains three single phase regions, alpha, beta, and liquid. Between the alpha and liquid region, there's the alpha plus liquid, and then there's beta plus liquid and alpha plus beta. And the horizontal line in the middle of the diagram is the eutectic line. And in the middle of the 16, 1.9 is the eutectic point. The x-axis represents the composition of weight percentage, and the y-axis represents the temperature. The microstructure most often depends on the composition of material and the temperature the material is cooled to. For binary eutectic systems, microstructure has many forms. In the alpha and beta phases, grain boundaries form between each grain of the microstructure. And in the liquid phase, it is just the solution of both the alpha and the beta phases in liquid form. For the solid and liquid phase mixture, crystals begin forming of either the alpha or the beta phase. In this diagram, you see a white area. That is the liquid phase of the material and the ovals, which are shown in a yellow color are either the alpha or the beta phase depending on the weight percentage of tin in the particular phase diagram. The alpha plus beta phase has three possible microstructures within it. The first is where metals form banded or eutectic structures. The second where the eutectic structure has crystals of alpha or beta in between the grain boundaries of the eutectic structure. And third, where alpha or beta particles precipitate from solid solution with the other metal. Each of these requires a very specific weight percent of tin, in our example, to form. The eutectic requires that it cool below the eutectic point. The second microstructure requires that the metal cool through the alpha plus liquid phase or the alpha, the beta plus liquid phase into the alpha plus beta region. And the third microstructure requires that the material cool through the liquid region and then through the alpha plus liquid region through the alpha, and then into the alpha plus beta phase. 
The lever rule is used to find the weight fraction of two phases present at a point in a two-phase region. There are two steps to the lever rule. The first is to draw the tie line, which we will demonstrate momentarily, and the second is basically just to extrapolate all the points necessary to fill in the equations from the tie line. Now on to the example. For example, to determine the phases present for a 30% weight percent 10 and 70 weight percent lead at 200 degrees Celsius, first we should draw the tie line at 200 degrees Celsius. Then we have to find C0, C alpha, and C liquid. In this case, C alpha equals around 17, C0 equals 30 and C liquid is about 57 weight percent 10. To calculate W alpha, W alpha equals to C L minus C naught over C L minus C alpha equals 0 0.675. Weight percent for liquid, W L equals C naught minus C alpha over Cl minus C alpha equals around 32.5%. Sorry. Sorry. I'm deeply sorry. Sorry.